fiasco in San Francisco, there was speculation the IOC might scrap the rest of the international relay run. But a spirit of defiance has won out. And as Loren McNabb explains, the impact on future games is also becoming clear. It spent the day in the air. The Olympic torch not scheduled to appear in Argentina until tomorrow. A short breather from the controversy for its runners. But it won't last long, with protests already underway in Buenos Aires. Even the International Olympic Committee had to admit this is bad. This is definitely the biggest crisis ever that the International Olympic Committee has, uh, has had. But the IOC also said it's weathered bigger storms before. After meeting with Chinese officials, it announced there were no plans to cut the torch relay short, meaning for the next 119 days, wherever the torch goes, this will follow. Protests in the country where it's run, even where it's not. These Toronto protesters had hoped, at the very least, China would have agreed to cancel the torch's run through Tibet. Shame on China! The, the IOC, I guess, again, they're trying to separate the sports with the human rights issues. And, and I can't understand that because it's, it's the human issues that makes the Olympics special. It's why thousands lined the streets in San Francisco yesterday. But the torch veered way off course. We waited and waited, and they keep tricking us. The route altered to avoid anti-China protesters. In the end, spectators lost out too. I don't think there are any winners in this. No, nobody, nobody's winning in this. But it's making some think twice. Today, the Secretary General of the United Nations added his name to the growing list of leaders who decided not to attend the opening ceremonies, although Ban Ki-moon claimed it was because of a scheduling conflict. I feel they are feeling the pressure, and I think the pressure is not just from outside, it's also within. With the relay such a highly politicized and publicized event, everyone is reconsidering their options. Those in charge of the 2010 Games in Vancouver said today they won't be taking the torch international when it's their turn, although they were quick to point out they never planned to. Canadians are the ones who are investing in the games through taxpayers' dollars in the venues. So we feel our first responsibility is to really share the relay with Canadians. Many who are already sharing in this year's hotly debated relay, even if they're thousands of kilometres from where it's run. Lauren McNabb, Global News, Toronto.